नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर ओ पी शर्मा सीनियर कंसल्टेंट इंटरनल मेडिसिन एंड जेरियाट्रिक्स एट इंद्रप्रस्थ अपोलो हॉस्पिटल सरिता बिहार न्यू डेली फ्रेंड्स आई ट्रीट द मेडिकल डिजीज आई एम ऑल्सो एन एक्सपर्ट इन जेरियाट्रिक मेडिसिन दैट मीन्स पीपल who cross the age of 60 they have some special medical problems i look after them i also had the privilege of making the vaccination guidelines for older people vaccination you all know how important it is we have all seen the impact of it in the present corona pandemic in our own country we'll talk today about diabetes diabetes is a disease in which level of sugar goes high in the blood and the sugar starts filtering out in the urine also the number at present or the world over is pretty high in india also the number is very high and day by day it is increasing question arises why the number is increasing basically this is because of the change in lifestyle earlier we used to get up do our morning prayer do our exercise take our breakfast and then walk up to our place of working nowadays yes we get up we have a breakfast which is more sumptuous than what we used to eat earlier there was a time of taking two square meals a day now we take three meals a day minimum the breakfast lunch and dinner secondly uh, we have started using a uh, transport we have started using transport for going to our place of working or going wherever we want to go whether it is a public transport or private transport nonetheless A transport means less physical activity our number of foods have increased and the quantity of food is also on the increase plus there is also a change in the normal eating pattern earlier the sweet dish used to be once in a blue moon or festivals or occasions or celebrations now sweet dish has literally become a part of our diet particularly on occasions in meetings wherever you go usually there are more than one sweet dishes and everybody wants to taste each one of them what occurs because of this there is a more intake of the sugar in various forms whether it is in the form of wheat or rice or better or bread or better it is in the form of sugars that we take in aerated drinks in tea coffee in chocolates nutties dessert various kinds of sweets and in india there is no dearth of that every state has a particular sweet dish and people are fond of it so what precisely occurs a excess of eating b less of calorie consumption burning less of calorie burning because of the less physical activity these two things they keep on adding weight to the body they keep on adding more pressure on the pancreas which releases insulin to take care of the raised sugar let's talk of a common prototype patient which we all see day in day out i think in every physician's clinic this kind of patient comes let's take a hypothetical case mr x 57 years old suffering from diabetes for last 4 5 years and now goes to the hospital consults the doctor because he has increasing weakness at times what happens he will just go for routine check up or their annual medical check up for which their company asks or the insurance company asks at that time we detect suddenly that the person has diabetes at that juncture when we ask about the family history yes patients do tell that either their father mother a grandpa from paternal side or grandpa grandma from maternal side they have diabetes or any of their siblings also has diabetes such people on examination are usually overweight such people normally have raised blood pressure also now diabetes in which the sugar goes up in the blood ultimately it gets filtered out through the kidney the blood circulates in the entire body so obviously the effect of diabetes will be from head to toe but the more effects are on heart and kidneys friends these people are normally investigated we do their 
blood counts, we do their blood sugars, we do their blood lipids, we do their kidney functions. We also check their thyroid function. We also check their uh, bone densitometry, if there's aches and pains. So we try to analyze everything. Nonetheless, kidney functions and heart functions are specially being taken care of. For years together, we have been concentrating our treatment of diabetes on control of blood sugar. We thought that it occurs because of the deficiency of insulin in the body. Well, in the last few years, we have recognized that besides being deficiency of insulin, there also occurs resistance to insulin. So because of the resistance to insulin, insulin is there, but it is not effective. At that juncture, scientists started thinking that it is high time that we also take care of insulin resistance. They became conscious about the body weight also. So the management of body weight also became a part of the diabetes management. At that juncture, in routine examination, if they find the person has thyroid problem, which also affects diabetes, is being taken care of. At the same time, when we do their blood examination and we find either the cholesterol or triglycerides raised, they also need attention because their levels in the blood will make blood more thick, more atherogenic. Atherogenic means the blood vessels which carry the blood, they will become hard. The fat deposits will start occurring. Good thing was, recently, one study was conducted that was Empire study. And after that study, and because of the introduction of newer and newer modalities of treatment, for example, in the beginning when diabetes was detected to be affecting the human being, we thought the only answer is insulin replacement. Soon we started learning that no, by giving oral pills also, we can control the blood sugar levels. So came the secret box. Then came the bigonites. The bigonites used to increase the uptake of glucose inside the muscles and literally act like acting physical exertion. But then came the era of glitazones in which these drugs were given to take care of the insulin resistance. But lately, there have been two very, very good therapies that have come, and they are DPP4 inhibitor and SCH2 inhibitors. DPP4 inhibitors told us that when we take the sugar by some particular means, the sugar which goes up can be taken care of by this DPP4 inhibitor. But there is an enzyme in the body which has to be neutralized because the life is very short, and that helps in the process of management. But the whole world was surprised because earlier the concentration was only on pancreas in which there is a beta cell which makes insulin, but there are alpha cells also. So people started working on alpha cells. But SGLT2 inhibitor is the only therapy which does not work through pancreas, which works through kidneys. The level of sugar goes up in the body Obviously, at the kidney also, the same level is being felt. We have all seen dams in which there is a water collection on the back. But when the level crosses a certain danger mark, they don't take chances, they release the water. Similarly, in the kidneys also, there is a threshold beyond which once the sugar occurs, sugar filters out in the urine. So in these people, when we test their urine, we find sugar positive. But SGLT2 inhibitor is the only drug which, whatever the sugar is filtered in the urine, actually gets reabsorbed also. So SGLT2 inhibitors, what they started doing, they started stopping the reabsorption of the sugar which filters out in the kidney. That means what will happen? Excess of sugar in the blood will pass out through kidney, get filtered, will not get reabsorbed, so it will go out of the body. That means every day some person will be losing a couple of grams of sugar. Yes, the blood sugars will come down, the body weight will come down. So this was a wonderful therapy in which we thought by giving a pill, we can control the sugar, we can control the body weight. And obviously once the water goes, some salt goes out, some blood pressure also is affected. All three things were getting up. 
in DPP-4 inhibitors, one of the DPP-4 inhibitors, remagliptin, we have seen that it works so well that besides acting on the blood sugar, it will also promote the kidney. Now, we have seen that SGLT2 inhibitor, DPP-4 inhibitor. Well, why not combine them? If you combine these two drugs, then your patient's blood sugar will be controlled, the sugar will filter out in the urine means his body weight also will come down, his systolic blood pressure also will come down, his whole system because of the obesity control also will get affected and additionally what they saw, the additional what we call pleiotropic effects, there was a nephron protection, there was a CV protection because of the SGLT2 inhibitors there was a CV protection. And this DP4 inhibitor, because ultimately in all diabetics, a stage comes when there is an involvement of the heart, the involvement of the kidney. So the combination of SGLT2 inhibitor and DP4 inhibitor will protect the heart as well as protect the kidney. And even when the kidney is working under stress, not to full its to its full capacity, still it will continue to work. You don't have to modify the doses also. Excellent. What else you need? You don't have to check every time urea, creatine, USCR, EGFR. You don't have to worry on that issue because you don't have to modify the dose of DP4 inhibitor. So this combination of empagliprozine and remagliprozine has been a real good novel combination, which I really appreciate for the management of diabetes. Friends, if you can hit many birds with a single level, Nothing like that. So the diabetologists, the physicians, the medical practitioners, they have got a unique combination of them, the combination of a CLT2 inhibitor and a DP4 inhibitor in the form of SGLT2 plus CLT2 in the form of empagliclozin and DP4 inhibitor in the form of lunagliptin. This combination works very well. There are hardly any side effects. All that one has to do is Yes, there is always a role of lifestyle management, some change in diet pattern, some change in exercise, some change in relaxation. And side by side, also to take care of the lipids and the hypercoagulated fat and protective vaccination. I think this will become comprehensive investment of diabetes. Those of you who are treating diabetes, go through it and pass on these benefits to your patients. Those of you who, who are suffering from it, we take advantage of it and consider it. Thank you so much. Wish you good. Stay safe.